Hanwha Defence Australia announced on Friday that the Australian government has signed contracts with the company to deliver and support locally built Redback infantry fighting vehicles for the Australian Army. The agreement entails the delivery of 129 Redback vehicles, each to be manufactured within Australia. The total value of the project is approximately $7 billion, representing the single largest investment in Army capability to date. The ambitious program outlines the production of all 129 vehicles domestically, commencing deliveries in 2027 and completing the fleet rollout by 2028. As part of the developmental phase, eight prototype vehicles will be crafted in South Korea and Australia, ensuring a seamless evolution of the program. The contract encompasses the development, delivery, and ongoing support system components, continuing until the final acceptance stage in 2029. Additionally, an initial support contract for the first five years post-delivery is already in place. Mr. J. Il Sun, President and CEO of Hanwha Aerospace, expressed satisfaction with the contract's establishment, emphasizing the delivery of this cutting-edge capability as a testament to Hanwha's commitment to Australia. Moreover, this contract amplifies Hanwha's presence in Australia, reinforcing ties between the two countries, following the AS-9 and AS-10 Huntsman vehicles procurement under Land 8116 for the Australian Defence Force. The swift negotiation and finalisation of this colossal contract, less than six months post the preferred partner announcement for the Land 400 Phase 3 project in July 2023, underscore the collaborative efforts between HDA and the Commonwealth. Mr Richard Cho, Managing Director of HDA, highlighted the rapid progress in securing this groundbreaking capability, emphasizing the pivotal role these vehicles will play in safeguarding Australian soldiers. Additionally, the manufacturing of all 129 vehicles will occur at the Hanwha Armoured Vehicle Centre of Excellence HACE, facility in Geelong, heralding a revival of advanced vehicle manufacturing in the region and promising potential export opportunities for Australian firms.